Should you dip the ball when you shoot? Uh, no, I think it's a bad thing because you should never bring the ball down. Why should you never bring the ball down before you shoot? So I think that kind of it slows it down a little bit, but at the same time, it's just a it, it, get, it gets my rhythm going. And uh, sometimes guys aren't able to. Luckily, my big screen for me, so I don't want that worry about uh, um, getting a quick shot off as quick as Steph Curry's masterclass. You've heard the very same thing from him. It was only when Pro Shot's Paul Hoover, a legendary shooting coach, broke the news that every single successful shooter dips the ball before shooting that many in the basketball community realized the absurdity of the idea of no dip. However, I still see no dip being taught to boys and girls by high school coaches to this day. So, this video will be a comprehensive explanation of the necessity of the technique known as the dip. This video is going to have three parts. In part one, I'm going to show you evidence of the widespread use of the dip with a highlight reel of the very best shooters dipping the ball. In part two, I'm going to explain why the idea that the dip slows your shot down is false. Finally, in part three, I'm going to explain the massively important positive aspects of the dip. It seems logical that dipping the ball would slow your shot down. It's extra motion compared to if you just start your shot from around where you catch it, right? These ideas are wrong. Here's why. When people think about the dip, they think of it as a motion purely related to the arms. In fact, the dip is a combination of two dips, one that takes place with your upper body and one that takes place with your lower body. The first, and most important of these two motions, is the lower body dip, which is the bending of the knees and the lowering of the body towards the ground that takes place before your legs extend as you explode into your shot. This movement is actually a large part of the dip, because even if you were to hold the ball close to where you catch it relative to your body, sort of like Steph Curry does, the ball will still dip relative to the ground because your entire body dips towards the ground when you go into your shot. The second movement is the upper body movement that people always talk about, which is where you move the ball relative to your upper body using your arms and shoulders. The dip is a combination of these two movements. The reason why not dipping the ball with your arms won't speed up your shot is that the first part of the dip, the body dip, takes place regardless of what you do with your arms. It's impossible to shoot effectively without this bending of the knees and subsequent extension of the legs. So this happens no matter what your upper body does. Therefore, there's an unskippable period of time in your shot where your body moves towards the ground to load power and then extends to exert this power. This period of time is simply built into your shot. Because of this, you can either dip the ball with your arms relative to your body or not during this time period and it really doesn't make a difference to the overall speed of your shot. The period of time in question is dead time for your arms. They can hold the ball up high where you caught it and simply wait for your legs to catch up after the legs dip and extend, similar to how the arms do with Elena Deladon's free throws. Or they can mimic the motion of the legs by dipping and then raising along with the overall momentum of the body, which is a far more logical thing to do. This, of course, explains why every single good shooter does dip the ball with their arms outside of free throws, where you have no pressure in your shot and where you're close to the rim. 
The only way you would save time by not dipping with your arms would be to eliminate the leg dip. This would require you to be already exploding upwards from your jump when you catch the ball. However, if you try this out for yourself, you'll quickly understand that this is an impossible way to shoot consistently. Now that you understand why dipping the ball with your arms makes little to no difference in the time it takes to get your shot off, I'm going to explain why the choice between dipping or not dipping your arms relative to your upper body is extremely obvious by outlining the vital benefits of the upper body ball dip. The dipping of the ball with the arms is vital to both the modern technique of one motion shooting and the old school technique of two motion shooting. Here's why it adds power to a one motion shot. By lowering the ball with your arms before exploding into your shot, you allow the ball to gather momentum before it passes through your set point and is pushed up towards the basket. The more momentum the ball has before passing through your set point, the less momentum your arm needs to add to it during the extension portion of your arm motion after the set point. If you did not dip the ball, your shoulders and arms would have to work harder to start the ball's motion by adding momentum to it from a complete standstill over a shorter distance. The reason why dipping the ball adds power to a two motion shot is that the upward movement of the arms is very important for an explosive jump off the ground. When you jump, you naturally swing your arms forward and up as your legs extend. The swinging upward movement of the arms that having a dip introduces allows your arms to perform the swinging motion while also bringing the ball up to your set point. Take Ray Allen for example. He elevated high even when shooting threes, but you can see that he still dips the ball and uses the upward arm motion to aid and time his explosive jump into the air much like an athlete does when recording his or her maximum vertical jump. So, I hope that these various explanations have helped you to see why a dip will not only not hurt your shot, but will likely help you to shoot. For those wondering how far to dip the ball, I would usually recommend anywhere below the sternum and above the knees. A dip below the knees is likely to cause your natural lower body dip to slow down to wait for your large arm dip, so in that case you might actually be slowing down your shot unnecessarily. Finally, be sure to check out my website and my Instagram, both of which are linked in the description box below. As always, thanks for watching, and you'll hear from me in the next video.